Hey guys, and welcome to Heartland Modding. Uh, we are here just uh, getting ready to start uh, the map called American Farms 3.3. Uh, if you're interested, you can download it at um, American Style Modding. Uh, and so the website will be in the description, but it's uh, fsasmc.com. So just getting started, basically the plan, uh, we own fields 11, 7, and 2. The plan is basically to uh, harvest 7 to kind of pay off the debt, uh, and then uh, we will harvest 11. Um, and so I created a video already on this, but it uh, wasn't very good, so I'm doing another one. And I've actually decided to sell off some of this equipment uh, and basically sell the combine, sell the corn head, and rent the combine uh, and uh, buy a better, um, basically, wagon because uh, that cart doesn't hold hardly anything so we're basically gonna sell some equipment uh, and then harvest seven uh, and then sell it to pay off the debt um, and then harvest eleven so uh, two is kind of empty at the moment uh, I don't know what we're gonna plant there, but we'll probably plant something. It's fairly small, so if I need the money, I'll probably just sell it too, and just work with 11 until I can gain some capital. So, here we go. I have downloaded some mods already. Um, some of them I'll probably use getting started uh, I'm definitely using that manual ignitions mod you seen that um, and I'll probably end up selling all this little air equipment too just because I don't need it and I've got uh, plow um, like discs and stuff that I downloaded as mods that are like plows, so I probably won't use this oops, plow either. But yeah, so I'm just gonna probably park this over in the shed for now. So I'm wanting to get some uh, modding videos uh, in GE scripting things like that out uh, over the next uh, few days. But uh, I figured I'd start a series here with uh, this map, so that's what we're doing. Just a kind of good way to get started, and plus I uh, like to just be in the game and enjoy it a little bit before I really get the modding. So uh, I've done some scripting and uh, GE edits and stuff, so this uh, I'm really really looking forward to getting into blender and start playing around with that so I haven't really messed with blender a whole lot so I'm fairly new so we'll just uh, as I create the videos we'll probably just kind of learn together so uh, for those of you that are interested in learning how to model or uh, in blender uh, it's uh, this is going to be a really good channel for you guys to check out so yeah be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, I will be definitely be getting some of those videos out here soon hopefully within the week uh, that's kind of the plan but we will see it may push out depending I don't want it to because I know there's lots of edits I might start with like uh, a GE edit first though so so there's just some mods I've already downloaded that uh, need some work. So probably do a couple of videos on those.
But yeah, so that's that's our wheat field over there. So we're gonna harvest that next. That's field 11. So we're just gonna drive up to the store, which is right by the McDonald's. You can kind of see it there on the map. So um, normally I would just sell the equipment, but uh, I probably need the money at this point. So I'm just roading it up there, which is. I mean, not too much of a pain, I guess. So. I think it'll be worth it. I mean, it's it, it'll provide that little extra income that we need to kind of get us by the beginning stages until we can get some harvesting done. So. It's, uh, that's, that's what the plan is. We'll see how well it works out, I guess. So. But this this map is it it looks pretty good. I mean the texturing and and stuff from what I've seen so far looks looks to be pretty good. That looks pretty real poles. Um, some of the you know telephone wires on other maps aren't that great. So this looks pretty good. I mean you can just tell the crops are have good textures. So. At least, uh, I mean, the Kanoa over there is definitely, at least I think that's Kanoa. It, it looks like Kanoa, but that looks, that's a pretty good texture if I can see what kind of crop it is from here. So. Now I know I have this combine already paid for, but uh, I want to sell it because um, the last video it was really slow doing the corn. Uh, it seemed like it took like three hours, so we'll just get rid of it and rent bigger equipment. Ninety thousand, that's good, so I have messed around on this map a little bit already, so like I created a video already, uh harvesting the corn, but it wasn't very good. It didn't come out as well as I thought it would, so doing another one here and just starting over I guess that way uh, you guys can kind of travel the road with me and we can farm together so. I know this uh, this cart only holds 8500 and if I'm running a bigger combine I'm gonna be in gonna need a bigger cart so uh, we'll just get that I'm hoping to basically buy a cart um, whether it be uh, a tipper or an auger wagon so and I'll sell the tractor too because it's kind of small and I really don't have much use for it plus I've got like three other tractors so I don't need all those tractors right now so I'm kind of basically downsizing and getting the loan paid off. Go from there. It's always best to kind of start out of debt. That's what I like to do anyway. So, I'm really good at uh, really good at managing money in real life. So, this is how I manage money in the game. Getting stuff paid off. Okay. 
So you got these bigger tractors that I can use, so... I'll sell probably all that equipment, because that's way too small to be trying to do stuff with, uh... 11, field 11. One of the really cool and, like, features of this map is you have to buy your own seed fertilizer and fuel uh, if you notice when I get by the trigger on the fuel well if I run it over uh, you, it doesn't there's no trigger I can't get fuel and I know you said like I just started the tractor but like even even when you just start the tractor it the trigger comes up so and you haven't used no fuel so yeah uh, I definitely have to make my own seed and fuel to fill my tractors up which is a really cool interesting aspect of uh, and the reason I'm getting that tractor there is because I'm gonna have to go get a cart I know that for sure so we'll just rent a combine and we need a header so we're going to harvest corn first so we're going to need a corn head go big or go home right So. There we go. And then I'll just leave the tractor running, who cares. Uh, that rental that you've seen is actually a mod that I've downloaded. Um, so you can actually rent vehicles. It's really sweet. Especially if you can't afford to buy them. Like me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm just gonna go over here and kind of get started on the corn, and I'll just I'll probably just harvest a whole combine bin full, and then go get the wagon, because why not? Yeah, I can already tell this is going to go way faster, which is kind of nice. So yeah, like I said, uh, the, the plan is basically to kind of harvest this field up and then sell it off to pay off the loan and maybe buy some equipment and then uh, we will basically um, harvest field 11 after that uh, and like I've got I've got field uh, 2 in reserve if I need to you know basically sell it off I can't um, I think it's worth um, it's worth probably yeah, yeah I can sell it for seventy two thousand so if I need to 
I will. But yeah, I can't believe how good these textures are uh, in this game. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. I can get mostly all the way around the field, even in the last combine, because I was still taking smaller cuts, is six rows instead of twelve. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to get all the way around it this time. So uh, I wish I could post the last video just so you guys could see the difference, but. Uh, like I didn't get no actual video, it was just me talking, which is lame, so that's why I started over, but that's alright, this one's going to be a lot better, so it'll have video. <laughs> Yep, that is Kanoa. I can actually take the HUD off too, but I don't know. I guess it depends on what you guys want to see. Sometimes it's everybody likes to have to see that extra information, but it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, we're almost full here. We're at 93%, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way to the end or not. It doesn't look like it. close. Alright, so now we gotta go get our tractor. And really should buy a tipper. I think this would come with the map, so it's gonna be part of the uh, making your own stuff mod. Um, probably could just look at general tippers. We don't have to look at maps or mods. Hmm. See, this one holds 40,000 liters. I could just get like a semi and trailer. These little pup trailers, they're only 21,000. They don't really tell you how much. Oh, I just bought what? Yeah, I bought a little. Pup Dolly. Well, that's what we're using, I guess, fellows. I gotta find that Dolly now.
one dollar. See, this is a part of the mod. I needed to change that to. It's way more than one dollar. Should be like twenty five hundred. Sucks. Um. So yeah, we got our accidentally trailer, but that's probably what I was gonna end up getting anyway. So that's all right. I just don't really know how much it was gonna hold. I didn't set a timer either, so hopefully I'm not running over too much. Probably speed some of this up, I guess. Actually, gonna pause really fast and look at my timer. Yeah, so we're basically at 21 minutes, so 2050, so probably let it run for another five minutes and just call the video. Except it doesn't really, didn't really do much harvesting. I don't know. I'll probably post two videos, I guess, back to back. That way, you guys can at least let me, you know, you can see me harvest the corn. I'm actually a huge fan of Wilson trailers in real life as well as in the game. It's they're pretty good mods. So uh, I don't actually think I needed this dolly cart. Should have probably looked at that before I bought it. That's all right. Cost a dollar, right? Yeah, don't need that, which is cool. leave it there we're definitely gonna use it eventually and for a dollar I can just like sit around although I'll probably edit that in the mods folder and uh, uh, probably throw, I can probably throw that in with a modding video that way you guys can see how to do stuff like that just to kind of tweak it for make it a little more realistic so yeah uh, I'll make it definitely make a video of that so I don't know sh 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 I'm thinking really about just letting the video run a little longer and speeding up but because I really haven't made no progress on the field yet I'm just getting started but at the same time I want you guys to you know kind of join the road with me so to speak See the map together. Do all the things. So. I deleted the video that I had uploaded, so I'm trying to produce a video every day. So, uh, with that said, I'll probably just do another video of me harvesting the corn. That way, um, the video. This will be basically the video for yesterday because that's technically when I started recording and, and so probably just do another video hopefully this holds at least a couple of combine loads and I know like this tractor wouldn't ruin crops but I try to pretend like it would anyway, so I can get the most out of the realism that I possibly can. So, alrighty, guys. Uh, basically, just gonna unload this corn here, and then uh, we'll continue harvesting. So, it's probably gonna do it for this video. Like I said, I'll just I'll have another video of me harvesting this field. So. Uh, stay tuned for that one. We'll see you next time.